Hey guys, Goat Mumbler here. In our last video, we talked about doing some modifications and enhancements to our Ruger 2245 in hopes of making it more comfortable and more reliable, especially when you're shooting this bulk ammo. Now what we did uh, was get rid of the loaded chamber indicator, which is right here. And what it does, it protrudes through here inside that we really can't see very well in here, but it actually touches the round as it sits in the chamber, which is a problem, especially if it's not ejecting. So if you get rid of something that's touching the round, then hopefully that'll help it eject better. Well, after going to the range, we shot a few hundred rounds of several different types of ammo. I wanted to let you know what the results were. Now the ammo we shot uh, we use the uh, Federal 40 grain. This is a non-plated uh, round nose bullet. We expected to have some problems with that. We didn't. We had the Winchester 40 grain. This is a copper plated bullet. It's a hollow point. The Federal uh, bulk pack, which is a 36 grain copper plated bullet. The infamous Remington Golden Bullet, which is a 36 grain brass plated bullet and CCI our copper plated 40 grain round nose bullet. The one missing from here I'm happy to say is the Remington Thunderbolt and the reason I don't have a box representing it is because it's all gone and I'll never have to shoot it again <laughs> and we're gonna have another video about that. But uh, so we shot six different types of ammo we loaded up several mags we shot them uh, different ways um, full on, you know, uh, rapid fire, double tap, triple tap, single, whatever we could do uh, to try to get these things to misfire. And I'm happy to say that evidently getting rid of the LCI pretty much cured that problem that we had. This thing here, it just wouldn't, just wouldn't run with the Remington Golden Bullet. Uh, we constantly had failures to eject failures to eject one after another. Shoot a couple times, failure to eject. Dig that, you know, shell out of the chamber, re-rack the slide, pop off a couple, another failure to eject. We only had one very small problem, and I don't even call it a problem, and I don't think it's ammunition related, and that was with the CCI. We had one um, kind of a stove pipe, stove pipe where it just almost got out, just barely hung up in there. But I don't, think that's a, I don't think that's a reflection on the ammunition. They all ran, they all ran just fine. Now for, for other reasons, the, the Remington Golden Bullet just seems to run dirtier than some of the other rounds. Um, we still have a little bit of it left. We're gonna run it out and that'll be the last we use. Uh, but all the rest of them, they were just fine. Try to stay with a, a plated bullet of some type. Uh, we had some real problems with the Thunderbolt. And uh, even though this one is, is not plated, it still kind of runs dirty in, in your bore. So it's something that we're going to try and stay away from. It looks like the ammunition is starting to uh, loosen up a little bit. I even saw some Winchester on the shelf at Walmart for the first time in two years. I know it's there, I just haven't been able to catch any of it. But you can get pretty much bulk ammo. I saw it at the, at the range today and they weren't trying to gouge us either. Uh, this pack here was uh, $24.95. So they've marked it up a little bit, but at least it's not $49.95. So ammo's getting easier to get. Feel good about running whatever you want in your guns because I, I, I think if you do some modifications, at least to this gun, you're going to be able to run just about anything you want through it. Now, we're going to do uh, another video on the Volkortsen uh, accurizing kit. I think we've gone about as far as we can with this little pistol here, as far as different enhancements. Uh, we've changed the, uh, the hammer bushing on this. We've gotten rid of the magazine disconnect. Um, got rid of the loaded chamber indicator she she runs pretty good 
but she's still not super fast. Yes, it's better than in the stock form. Uh, the trigger pull is a little lighter and a little smoother, but we're gonna step it up one more, one more level, and we're gonna try that Volkortsen accurizing kit. So there we are, folks. I'll let you know how that goes when we get that put in there. But if you have any questions or comments, I'd like to hear from you. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys take care, be safe. We'll see you down the road. Adios.